Now, I don't know if you could properly consider this news, but uh, let me first thank my, one of my viewers for bringing this video on Live League to my attention. Now, the details here are a bit sketchy. It's hard, to be honest, to make out what really uh, went down here. I mean, some things are clear and some are not. Uh, brief summary to begin with, basically we have a landlord who I believe is the female, her boyfriend and some other guy, I don't know who that is, uh, threatening a, a tenant in a building. Uh, they basically barge into his flat and um, they, they threaten him. Uh, well, the woman threatens him uh, with, with rape, uh, just repeating rape. And she uh, pulls some crocodile tears and creates a lot of theater, essentially. And uh, it's not very clear what the motivations were or uh, why, why it happened. Uh, yeah. But in any event, uh, what we do know is that these people barge into this gentleman's uh, flat, his room, and uh, they proceeded to harass him, essentially, both the boyfriend and the female. And the female, um, as you can see in the video, devolves uh, into a crying fit and repeats the word rape and so on and so forth. Now, throughout the video, and thank the gods, for this. The gentleman is uh, has nerves of steel, and what do I mean by that? He's, he's very calm throughout the video. Uh, he had a, and, and, thank, and thank the gods that he had a video camera as well. Uh, I mean, uh, once again, the taxi incident. If you don't have a video camera these days, well, <laughs> tough luck. It's, it's, you probably need one these days to just survive in today's legal climate. But he had a video camera, and he recorded, and this, this woman was hysterical, of course, falsely so. It's obviously a work of theater, uh, crying rape. And he, he said, he repeats himself. It's very clear. He never put a hand on her, never touched her. He's very calm. And then he starts saying, you're scaring me, to the woman. And she says, you're scaring me. And this drama goes on back and forth for a while. Eventually they leave, he, he says he's going to call the cops. Some other gentleman enters a scene, and I don't know if it's uh, the legitimate, I mean, genuine white knightery on his part, or uh, he actually is a white uh, knight, or just partially, or he's in on some scheme. I mean, what, from what I can surmise, maybe they're trying to get evict or get rid of the ten. I don't know. You know, landlords, eh, they're not, well, landlords have a reputation, we all know. But... The point of that is this video, and I thought it was worthy enough to make a short video on, is that you can see that this kind of stuff with the, uh, the false rape uh, accusations goes on all the time. Uh, it's like women these days, they know they have this card. What's more important in the United States are so-called rape shield laws. Now, rape shield laws are simply, a rape shield law simply uh, states that a, a woman who makes a rape accusation, a false rape ac accusation, her identity is protected. The man who is accused, who is falsely accused, his identity is not protected. It can, be, it can and will be released to the public. Whether he did it or not, his reputation will be likely for the rest of his life sullied and uh, will, of course, uh, suffer immensely from that. The woman, of course, her identity is protected. I, um, fortunately, I don't want to speak on something I'm not entirely sure about. I believe you have the same rape shield laws in the UK. I'm not an expert on that, and I don't know the situation in Canada. But in any event, I, this took place in the United States. And, uh, yeah, it's very clear that without this camera, this man would have been quite literally fucked up the goat's ass, uh, to use the expression. There's nothing he could have done. And we know that a man's word is worthless against, in today's climate, against a female's word. I mean, never mind the theater, never mind what happened. If he had not had a camera, he certainly would have been screwed. And, of course, with rape shield laws, uh, somewhat related... Uh, the, the major problem with rape shield laws... and. I'm not going on a, off on a, uh, on a limb here to say that um, given female propensity to uh, fabricate things of this nature, rape, rape, uh, sexual harassment, all these things, it's, 
it, it potentially it could be something that's recurrent in certain females. So, for example, a f female might have a repeated history of rape, of rape accusations against men. Now, the reason why she could have a repeated history, uh, among other reasons, is because of rape shield laws. If rape shield laws are in place, um, the, the accuser, the female accuser, can never be identified. Um, and uh, she can just keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again. The uh, men that she uh, accuses, of course, uh, their information is released publicly. And so it's, it's rape shield laws, of course, are a danger. You know, in conjunction with the state of affairs and today's climate in North America and the UK, uh, it, it's very dangerous indeed. I don't know, like I said, you can watch the video, of course, for yourself, posting a link. It's hard to say what exactly went down, as to what the motivations were, but uh, it's very clearly her, uh, theater on her part. And thank the gods, the man was calm throughout the entire incident. If he had not been calm, uh, then there would have been serious issues. And I think, uh, I mean, I, I hate giving advice. The worst vice is, uh, is advice. But um, let me just say that if you're ever in a similar situation, always keep your nerves. Don't don't react. Don't don't lash out. Don't use physical violence. I mean, as much as for some, if, if she had actually assaulted him, um, you know that that is a murky situation. Because on the one hand, of course, you have a right to defend yourself. But if he had literally actually touched her, you know, laid a finger on her, he could have been up shit's creek. So. It's it's a very precarious situation, things like this, and it's just impossible really to know the best course of action other than um, just keep your nerves and don't don't react, don't overreact, don't use violence. Um, because the let's face it, the system, i.e., the world, is against you on this if it happens. Now, in this particular video, the female is a bit old and haggard and uh, far from attractive. But uh, let us not delude ourselves to think that young, attractive females are somehow uh, immune from this type of, uh, or immune against this kind of behavior, that they would not practice this kind of behavior, maybe not in such a well, theatrical and, and dramatic way, but you know, who knows? It's, 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 you just don't know anymore these days, uh, particularly in the United States, the UK, and Canada. Uh, it just seems like any female you can encounter is potentially a walking time bomb in that sense because uh, women, not only do they not think rationally, they are, as we know, creatures of absolute selfishness. And so <laughs> when you combine those traits, that total lack of rationality with this, uh, with, with the what I call the me syndrome, you, you can, I mean, you can literally create a miniature A-bomb such as this. Uh, it's really something that I think, you know, if I were, I mean, I, I don't, I avoid them anyway, but if I were living in the United States again, I, I, I would give every female a wide berth. I would probably be crossing the street. Certainly if I were alone and I see a female coming, I would cross the street. Uh, you know, you might want to call me paranoid, but you never know when this might happen to you. Uh, we don't know the circumstances, but... There don't. There doesn't really need to be circumstances. We don't know what the motivations are. In the case of Brian Banks, of course, the uh, female accuser wanted to make money. Okay, that's a very clear motivation. But um, you know, and of course, rape shield laws. You get accused doesn't doesn't matter if you didn't do it. You could be screwed for life. So, to something to be aware of. And uh, I don't know what what happened after this. I read in some of the comments. I don't know if how true it is. The man is uh, going to uh, pursue court action, so maybe something will come of it, maybe not, uh, but uh, <sighs> dangerous times we're living in, and not for the conventional uh, assumed reasons that many believe them to be. Uh, so, I mean, it, it never ceases to, 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 to surprise, I suppose, um, but may maybe we're also apathetic, well not apathetic, but so inured to all this stuff by now that it's just, this is just the way it is, right? Anyway, take care and I'll <clears throat> see you later.